Oh, hi kids, it's me, Carl. Only don't tell anyone, today I am Secret Agent 00, Super Spy and Master of Disguise. I'm getting ready for some super de duper secret assignments. Great, there's nobody else around. Now's my chance to use my super decoder transmitter to call headquarters and find out what my secret mission is. <coughs> headquarters, come in. This is secret agent 00 calling headquarters. Come in, chief. Oh, this is Secret Headquarters. Do you read me? Loud and clear, Chief. Very good, 00. Chief, what's my assignment? 00, this will be the most important assignment of your life. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. This is the big one, 00. Wow! I'm ready when you are, Chief. Lay it on me. This is way too important for radio transmission. I must make sure you understand perfectly what you're supposed to do. Roger, Chief. So, how do I get my instructions? I'm going to meet you myself and give you the instructions personally. You? In person? The chief is coming to talk to me? Get a grip, double O. I'll be there in a minute. But sir, we've never met. How will I know it's really you? Well, you need to remember the password, double O zero. You got it, chief. This is headquarters, signing off. Over and out. Boy, this has got to be big. Nobody's ever seen the chief secret agent before. Aha! There's a secret agent if I ever saw one. I'll try the password on him. <coughs> Excuse me? Yeah? Fuzzy Wuzzy, what's a bear? What? What are you, some kind of nut? A car can't even walk down the street anymore without running into a crazy person. Psh. Of course. I knew it wasn't him. The chief secret agent will have an awesome disguise. Something nobody in the world would ever even recognize. I'll just have to be patient. <laughs> Nice doggy. Wait a minute. That dog, that's the chief. I know it is. Of course. What a great disguise. <coughs> Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear? <coughs> Maybe he can't hear me through the costume. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear? Hmm. Wait a minute, Chief, come back! I don't know, maybe that dog wasn't Chief. Fuzzy Wuzzy Wuzzy! Oh. Carl? What are you doing? Oh, it's you, Donnie. Just never mind what I was doing. It sounded like you were shouting something about a bear at that dog. If you must know, I said Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Oh, yes. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. <gasps> then Fuzzy Wuzzy... Wasn't Fuzzy, was he? <laughs> oh, no! It can't be! You're not Chief Secret Agent! Just call me D, 00. But how can it be you? You're, you're not even wearing a disguise. Oh, yes, 00. I'm... Sure, I stand out way more than you, <laughs> wearing a rubber nose and shouting passwords at a dog. <laughs> you can never be too careful, Chief D. I think you scared him half to death. Sorry, D. Are you ready to receive your assignment, 00? Yes. What is it? First, memorize this passage. Everyone has sinned and cut themselves off from God. 
But God loved the world so much that he sent his only son, Jesus. Everyone who confesses his sins and receives Jesus as his Savior has a brand new life and will have a relationship with God. Got that? Everyone has sinned and cut themselves off from God. But God loved the world so much that he sent his only son, Jesus. Everyone who confesses his sins and receives Jesus as his Savior has a brand new life and will have a relationship with God. Got it. I'll guard the secret message with my life. Wait a minute. Your assignment is to tell everyone this message, Donald. What? But I can't be a secret agent if I go around telling everyone the secret message. Double O, there are no secret Christians. Jesus died for us. We can't keep a thing like that quiet. That's something I've been wanting to ask someone about, Big D. Easter is coming up, and I know that Jesus died on the cross, and then in three days he rose again. But how does that save me? Oh, double O. Say someone does something really bad and has to go to jail, and he can't get out until he pays for what he's done. Yeah? Then someone else comes along and pays the jailer the price, and he goes free. Well, that would be great. Well, that's what Jesus did for us. He paid the price and set us free. Huh? The Bible says the price for sin is death. Death meaning hell. And we've all sinned, so we all deserve to die. But Jesus, who never sinned, took our place for us. So all we have to do is believe in him and confess our sins and ask him into our hearts, and we can have a relationship with God too. I get it. Jesus died for me, and I have to tell everyone. After Jesus rose again, he walked for many days on this earth. Then before he rose back into heaven... He told his followers to go out into all the world and tell everyone the good news about how he came to save them. Some people call that the Great Commission. Oh, oh yeah, the Great Secret Mission. Well, let me tell you what the Bible says about Paul and some of his friends going out and doing just that. They were telling everyone they could about Jesus. That's right. In this story... They came to a land called Macedonia, and then a city called Philippi. Boy, what funny names. In this city of Philippi, God led Paul to a small group of women. Girls, huh? Well, Paul preached the good news to them, and because Paul was faithful and did what God told him, a woman named Lydia opened up her heart and was saved. Cool. And then, because she went home and told her others uh, in her family, they were saved also. And that was the start of the church at Philippi. Neat, Chief. So my mission is to go out and tell everyone the good news about Jesus. Okay. Only when... What's wrong, double O zero? Well, it's just that... Speak up, double O. Well, Chief, I'm sure you wouldn't know this, but I'm not always the best at being a secret agent. You're kidding me. No, not really. And, well... What if I mess up? This is such an important mission. What if I don't say the right thing? Oh, double O zero, don't worry. Do you think God would send you out on the most important mission of your life without backup? God tells us that he'll be with us always. Just pray and stay close to him, and he'll give you the right words to say. Wow, that's so cool. But, um... Well, what is it now, double O zero? Well, Chief, it's just that the world is an awful big place. How am I going to tell everyone about Jesus by myself? That's the great part about this assignment, double O. This is an assignment for all Christians. All Christians? That's right, kids. We all have an assignment to let many people know about Jesus as we possibly can. Just like when Paul told Lydia and Lydia told her family and they told the whole town? That's right, 00. We're all special agents in God's service, and we've got a license to tell. A I'm so glad you took to that tell. crazy disguise off. A license to tell? Oh boy, we can reach the whole world if we work together. And no more secrets, 00. That's right. I've got a job to do. 
It's just like in this week's Bible verse. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation unto everyone that believeth, Romans 1, 16. Yeah, the power of God. We've got to spread the word. That's right, double O. Now get back to work. Roger, Chief. I was only wondering, what about all this cool spy stuff? Huh? Well, since we're not working in secret now, what about this, the, the cool uh, glasses and stuff? Can I keep it? I just love these things. Oh, grow up, double O zero. Are you sure? I would love to keep them. You never know when they might come in handy. Oh, brother. I might have to go undercover behind enemy lines. Bye, kids, and you help keep up the great work. Hey, Chief, wait for me. I've got some other great ideas. Bye, kids. Spread the word. Don't worry. I'm on the job. Dun, dun, hey, Chief. Dun, 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 dun.